I need to update my Roblox game, but why? Because recently my game blew up. Yeah, I didn't expect this to happen. What's so special about my simulator when there are thousands of simulators that fail? Well, whatever it is, I need more of it. I started off by checking my Discord server, link in the description. Charlie suggested to add top 100 leaderboard tags. My game only shows the top 50 players, but that also works. I started scripting, and little did I know how painful this process will be. Okay, as you can see, chat tags sort of work, so if I go ahead and type something, I'm number 3 on the Rebirth's leaderboard, but there is a slight problem. If I go ahead and equip a game pass, which also adds a custom chat tag, it'll just overlap the current chat tag, and that is a problem. I somehow need to find a fix for this. Yeah, what am I even talking about? Chat tags ain't working. I tried requiring the leaderboard module to add the chat tag in a shared table, and now it should work. Okay, the chat tag should work now, and ignore the fact that I have minus robux, I was doing some testing. But as you can see, I'm number one on the gems leaderboard, and if I go ahead and type something in the chat, it displays the chat tag correctly, let's go. And the way these chat tags are picked is it looks through all these leaderboards on where you have the highest rank. And for me, it's the gems leaderboard, that's why it displays that I'm number one on the gems leaderboard. Well, I want to improve the overall chatting experience in my game by switching to a newer version called Text Chat Service. And yeah, this whole script that I just wrote was now useless. I love how I do first and then think. Now I was trying to figure out how on earth does tech chat service work. Phew, I'm finally done setting up the chat tags. It took me around a half of a day to do this, but it's finally done. So, if I go ahead and type something in the chat, as you can see, all the chat tags work correctly, and also the leaderboard ones. Previously, there wasn't this little chat bubble, because I was using an old version of the text chat service, and now I switched to a newer one, so everything should look a lot better. My next idea is to balance the game. Progressing past the jungle areas takes ages. By the time you're there, you're already a grandpa. So I highly buffed all the pet multipliers. I'm done balancing the pets and I also nerfed some of the area prices, but now the pet multipliers are actually insane. I know, I say this almost every update, but just look at this. 2000 multiplier for a darkened celestial and dragon, like that's crazy. Now it's time to start working on the new areas, but before I can build anything, I need assets, so I hopped on a 3D modeling software called Blender and started modeling a pine tree. I'm done with this tree, but to be honest, it doesn't even look that good. The shape could be a little bit better, so I'll try to remake it. I remodeled the tree, and now it looks a lot better. Then I made a leaf, and modeled a bunch of assets. Once I was done, I made a texture and started coloring them.
All right, I'm done coloring this fall asset pack and it actually looks really good. I love it. Of course, there are going to be more trees. I will still recolor them, but these are all the new assets I'm going to add. And let me import them in Roblox Studio. Now I'm ready to make the first area. As usual, I started by placing down hills and mountains. Then I added assets like trees, fences and bushes. Okay, I'm done with the first fall area and as you can see, I added more details like these rock paths and more fences. But overall, this area looks really good and I'm excited to make the next one. Before I make the next area, I hopped back on Blender and modeled more assets. Okay, I'm done modeling and coloring these assets and you can probably already guess what I'm going to make. Don't these roads look a little bit familiar? To be honest, I don't know what I'm talking about, these are just regular roads. Anyways, I started building the second area. Oops, I forgot to texture this part. It's supposed to be grey, so let me hop back on Blender and fix it. Well, I never actually filmed the part where I'm fixing it, but now, back to building. Okay, I'm finally done with this area and it looks absolutely amazing, screw all the other areas, this now is definitely my favorite one. Just look at these roads, they are so well made, well don't look at them too closely, there are some issues that I'll have to fix, but if you look at the bottom right corner, there are two new labels, yes, there is a friends boost and a weekends boost. For every friend that you're in game with, you'll get a 10% robux boost. And on the weekends, that's where the big grind starts, because there will be a 1.5x robux multiplier boost. This area turned out amazing, but now it's time to make the third one. I already had the layout, I just needed to add assets. Okay, I'm done with the first area, it looks quite simple but really good. Anyways, I have to make eggs now, so back to Blender. Before I make eggs, I remember this update was about quests, so I designed the quest UI. The price is going to be an exclusive pad, so I hopped back on Blender and modeled that. Okay, I'm done with the bacon pad, and it looks pretty good in my opinion. I tried to make it as good as possible, and I also made a royal chair, where the person that is going to give you a quest is going to sit on. Then I made a little scenery for the quest NPC by adding the royal chair and some robux drops. Okay, I'm done with all the quest UI, but nothing works yet, everything still needs to be scripted, but now I'll go ahead and make eggs for the new areas. Okay, now it's time to make the eggs, so back to Blender again. I made a fall egg, road trip egg, and a heal egg. Knowing my past with making pets, usually I don't show the process, but this time I will do it. Phew. 
you, I'm finally done modeling these pets and as usual it's really late. Each time I model pets it happens to be midnight. One of these pets will have a huge version, maybe the chicken, maybe the turkey, who knows, guess that in the comment section. It's the next day and I started it by configuring pets. I'm done adding all the primary parts, all I gotta do is change the transparency to 1. And now I need to make pet icons. Oh finally, I'm done with all the icons and this chicken looks really good. Anyways, it's time to import them. I configured all the pet icons and egg prices. Okay, I'm done configuring all the eggs and also pets. Now I gotta pray that it actually works. Uh, first of all, let me give myself a little bit of robux because I'm broke. Okay, this should be enough and now if I go ahead and open this egg, I got a car dog but for some reason it's displayed as the hedgehog. I think I configured the pets incorrectly but that's just a visual bug for now, at least the eggs work. Don't worry about that, I fixed it later. Anyways, back to the main point of this update, quests. While I have been working on pets and eggs, my scripter made the quests work. Now this UI pops up and you can go ahead and start 3 quests and once you complete them, you will get this very exclusive bacon pet. Also these quests aren't that hard, you'll have to collect 500 robux, spin the wheel 4 times and collect 100 chests. This update is pretty much done, if I have time I might add more features off camera. Anyways, let me know what you think about this update and let's prove this website wrong by getting 20k subs faster than it predicts. No way I'm going to wait almost 2 years, help a brother out and smash that subscribe button. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, have a great rest of your day and peace.